Now for the HTML part, I have already created the files inside the Visual Studio code, which is the index.html, style.css and script.js file. And also I have launched this project with the use of the live server extension, which is this particular extension, which is a server. And I have launched the application inside my Chrome browser. Alongside, I have added the boilerplate code inside the index.html, which is a already a basic code structure for the HTML and I have also linked the style.css file and also the script.js file. So this is how I done just to actually save a little bit of the time. So the first step is we need to actually create these particular elements. So I have launched the both version of the application. This is the one that we are going to build in this entire model and this is the final version of the application that we want to build. So if I just simply reset here and first we need to actually create this container inside of that we need to place this particular element which is the h2 element then these labels then we need to specify these input types then the button and the final is going to be the division element that has an id of the result so first we need to specify the divisions so for that i'm actually come back to my index.html so here i need to type the container and pressing the tab key so inside of the container everything will be placed like all the other html elements so inside of that, first I need to specify the h2 element. So this is going to have a heading called love calculator. All right. And after specifying the h2, which is a heading of this particular project, then we need to create the another division. And this is division is going to have a class of love calculator. So this is the division for the love calculator. Inside of that, we need to place the other elements that is our input and the label so the first is we need to specify the label and then four is actually for the name one which is the first name which is maybe your name and then here i need to enter the label text which is your name so first time also want to see the output inside this particular window so here i will be typing the your name and then if i control save it then you can see now the heading which is the h2 element and also this particular label value is displayed inside the browser all right so if i just reduce the size of the visual studio code window too then you can clearly see the outputs all right then we need to specify the input which is this particular input enter your name so for that we need to use the input tag and put tag and the type when we need to actually work with the text and then we need to specify the id so id is going to be name one because it is a unique element and then we need to add the placeholder text which is like enter your name all right then this is actually come to the next line because of the word wrap so that you can see the all code inside this particular one window so if i increase it then maybe you will see that the code will be but just leave it as it is okay so now i'm going to copy these two lines of the code because if i control save it then you can see this particular input type is also visible to the web browser now the thing is that we are going to actually align these into this particular order with the use of the css so that is why it is actually now coming in the single line so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it one more time and here i will be changing the four value to name two and so specifying the name to here and then i need to change the placeholder text so here i will be entering the partner name So it is going to be like enter your partner's name enter your and also i need to enter here your so that the perfect message will be displayed to the input type and then here also we need to change the partner name or you can enter here like crush name or whatever you want to change so it is going to like partner's name now if i control save it then you can see the second input is also appear inside the screen now this is actually going to be visible inside the single line but because of the browser window is reduced that is why this one is actually coming to the next line in case of the smaller window of the browser all right now the next element that we want to place is the button element which has a text calculate so this button will be placed inside this love calculator division so if i come back here and enter like here button then we to specify the like an attribute which is our own click attribute so on click of a button we want to call a function so we want to call uh, here calculate love so i'm going to name my function as 
calculate love and then we need to specify the round brackets and then we need to specify the text calculate by control save it then you can see now the calculate button text is also visible inside the web browser so the next element that we want to place is actually the result element that will also come under this particular love calculator division after the end of the button so here again i need to add a one div and this is going to be the result and then we need to specify the id because later on after the processing of the love logic we want to display the result so for that we need to enter here our id result so this is the main division in which the entire elements is present so you can see now the result is also appearing inside the web browser so that's it for this particular video in the next video we are going to start with the css part of the love calculator project